What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Anyways, today I did go to the new Nike Miami store that they did open up recently on Thursday. And fortunately enough, the staff was nice enough to let me videotape inside the store. So I was able to make a vlog for you guys. And you can go find that in my other channel, which I will leave a link to in the description below as well. And if you guys happen to get lost, it is called Our Life TV. But moving on with the video, I am here to talk about what I picked up at the store today. But to start off, I do want to show you guys the bag that it came with. It came in this brown bag with the Nike check on the front, and then the back it just says Nike.com, and it comes with the Volt green handles, which I know it's simple, but it's pretty cool because Nike stays on that Volt color, and they actually made the handles that color as well. And some of you might be like, all right, it's just a bag, whatever. I mean, yeah, it's a bag, but it's all about how they execute and how well they deliver the shoes to you, or your purchase overall. And even having a nice bag kind of like adds on to the purchase. To start off, I did pick up a shoe that I think is limited, I'm not quite sure. From what I know, no other store has this down here in Florida, and it is a Kyrie 3. This is the box for the Kyrie 3. As you see, it has the Kyrie Irving logo on top. It has a number three on the side, and then the other side it says Kyrie Irving. And on the front of the box, next to the size tag, it does have a signature. And on the back, they put a Nike logo. So much going on with the box. I'm kind of going to review the shoe now just because I'm not going to keep these shoes. I already sold them. But once you find out what's in the box, you'll see why. And the colorway I did purchase was the Kyrie 3 Samurais. And I've been wanting this shoe, or I've been, I at least wanted to see it for a while. But when I heard that they actually had it in the store, I freaked out because this is the first Kyrie 3 shoe that I haven't seen. And today was the first time seeing it. And I'm not going to lie, the shoe is super nice. This is the only Kyrie that I like out of the three. And I'm not really going to go much to the materials and stuff, but I'm just going to go more to the design. And what I like is how they made the sole go basically like from one side to the other. And it's rounded, so it is good for like point guards and people that have good handles and just like to cross over a lot. If you guys know how Kyrie plays, this man literally like, his foot literally goes at this angle when he crosses somebody over. And as you can see on the inside, the sole does go all the way to the side. Also the swoosh has like these ripples on it, it looks pretty cool. It looks even better on camera to be honest. It makes it gives like that 3D look. I mean in person not really, but in camera it looks even better, it's pretty dope. And my favorite part of the shoe has to be that symbol right there. I'm pretty sure that it's Japanese because samurais are Japanese. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's either Japanese or Chinese, but I'm most likely sure that it's Japanese. And that just makes the shoe pop, especially with all like that splatter going on. And on the bottom you do have this little window where you can see the zoom right through it. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but it does have Nike zoom. I don't know if it's all the way through the shoe or just on the heel or the toe. See, they let me try out the shoe. They didn't have my size, so I tried on a size nine. And in the store, they actually let me go inside a court and try out the shoe, like test it out and see how it felt. And people say it's an uncomfortable shoe, but I was balling in it for like 10 minutes, and I think that was good enough. I was trying to like beat it down to the ground so I could see if my foot would get hot or be uncomfortable. But I have no complaints on the shoe. It was actually really comfortable. Performed really well. It could have had a little bit better traction, but other than that, great shoe. Well, to not talk about the shoe, let's move on to the next thing, which probably was like the most memorable thing I could have got from that store. And it is this right here. Right now you're probably wondering what it is, but once I open the box, you'll be like, damn, that's pretty sick. Maybe. And as you can see, it has MIA with a Nike swoosh, which is from Miami. And what's inside of it is the lace tips. And I don't know what you want, like to call these on the front, but this is what like they put on the front of the shoes, like around this area right here. So this will go right here. I don't know what you want to call these, but if you do know the name of these things, drop it down in the comments below because I do want to know. It's really sick how they have them in gold. They had them in titanium, they had them in black and white and a few other colors. But I got them in gold because gold is my favorite jewelry color. And not only that, but I feel like it would be more noticeable. On the right one, I did make it say R-S-N-E-A. And on the left one, which is the bottom one, it says K-E-R-S, which if you put them together, it says R Sneakers. At first, I didn't know what to put, but in the end, I was just like, might as well put R Sneakers. I mean, that's the name of my channel, and it is really memorable for me. So I will probably be putting these on... I don't know what shoe yet, but leave a comment down below what shoe you guys think I should put it on out of the ones right behind me. Most preferably a Yeezy because that's where I want it. But if it's not a Yeezy, let me know what shoe if you guys know my collection. Or you can just go check out the video of my collection somewhere along my channel. Last but not least, this isn't really a pickup. It's just something that they gave me and I got from the store. And it's pretty cool because they gave it to me after I tested out the shoe. And it is this water bottle with the Nike swoosh on it. I probably wouldn't even drink this water just because it is kind of memorable. It'll probably just sit on my like stand somewhere. As decoration but yeah it's pretty sick it kind of just shows the quality that they're giving in the store anyways if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we are trying to get to 5,000 by sneaker Comfort fort lauderdale which is february 11th and i know it's possible because on january 13th we were at 2400 subscribers and then just yesterday we hit 2700 subscribers or a little more than that 
But that's crazy amount, and I know we can do it, guys. So please keep hitting the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. But before I go, I do want to give a shout-out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Sneakerway. Shout-out to him for always showing love in the comments. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker signed out. Peace.